horrible, haunting sound, especially when he's looking for his dinner. He goes, Hungry! Hungry! <laughs> Daddy, hmm? are you saying hungry? No! Rhinoceroses can't speak English. Do another one. Right. Okay. No, tell me what this one is, okay? It's a tough one. A crocodile. A crocodile to crocodile. What's he doing, huh? He's giving kisses. Crocodiles kiss? Absolutely they kiss. They kiss just like people. And you know when they really kiss? It's when they kiss their little crocodiles goodnight when they go to bedtime or swamp time. That's exactly what we have to do now. We have to imagine to go to bed. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Mother, one more. One more, please. Always say please like that. Okay. Now this one you have to get right. Tell me what this one is. Scary. A tiger? A lion? A panther? No. It's daddy snoring if Maxie doesn't go to bed. Now come on, young lady, it's a school night. Come on, you heard me, you heard me. technique. It's a result, doesn't it? Yes, and I can't believe it. Normally it takes me about an hour and a half to get Maxie down. That's her bedtime ritual from the time I actually told her to go to sleep to the time she actually dropped off. I think you did it in half the time. Eh, yeah, well, it's nothing. <laughs> silence. Yeah. Uh, you know, silence in the jungle is uh, it's a sign of danger. Here it seems to be, I don't know, something you wish for, huh? Yeah, it's bliss. How did you do it? What, did you hear me? Well, how did you really do it? Did you buy a book? Oh, please. You know, the League of Fathers, just like the Society of Magicians, never give away their secrets. Make an exception. Well, okay, just this once. She's into the Lion King, right? We know this. Well, so what I did is I just impersonated a lot of those animals. Very authentic imitations, if I must say so myself. And then the stroke of genius hit me. I told her that eventually all the animals go down for bedtime, right? So I told her, why don't you pretend you're a baby giraffe going down to sleep? But of course, we all know that giraffes have no voices. Clever. I thought so. You're pleased with yourself, aren't you? <sighs> Extremely. So, what now? Wait a minute, then I'll go change into something more comfortable. Good to be comfortable. You know, I never get to read the paper anymore. Never get to read the news. Well, you're just too busy making it. I wonder if I've ever read any stuff about you and just didn't know it. No, nope, they never write about what we do. You know, this is nice, sitting around like this. Really nice. Liar. I never lie, Mrs. Jones, ever. What did you just read? No cheating. And no quizzes. Now, give me the paper. I'm looking for a job. Yeah, right. I am. When are you going to take me seriously that I'm going to stay here and I need to find gainful employment? And what line of work interests you? A lot of different things. I can do a lot of things. I'm a very well-rounded guy. Hey, hey, careful, careful. Okay. It's too bad the mayor already hired a new police commissioner. Not interested. I'm leaving that type of work. This is serious. Well, I told you. When are you going to start believing me? Got a pencil? Ba -bum. I still don't know how you do that. Prehensile toes. <laughs> 
You either have them or you don't. What was that? Pet store owner. Give me a break. Well, I just told you that I'm very good with animals. Oh, here's another one. A librarian. Excuse me? Yeah, it's nice, quiet. Sorry, but you have to have a degree in library science for that. Do you? Mm hmm Oh, that's not good. I hate that, that screwy decimal system. It's always giving me trouble. Dewey, Dewey. Dewey what? Well, are you out of your mind? What was that? that? You know, a museum guard. Don't you see? That would be perfect. It'd be something where I could look at art all day and every now and then have a little action with your attempted heist. Oh, yes, I can just see it. Excuse me, sir, but can you tell me where the water fountain is? I'm thirsty. Sir, where's my son? I've lost him. He's about this tall in blue jeans with a baseball cap. Yeah, oh, please, please. You got a point there. Maybe that's not the right one for me. Hey, look at this, huh? A frosty freeze manager. Could work with uh, chocolate and vanillas all day. Banana? Don't forget the banana. Well, of course, you got to have banana, and you could have the sprinkles and the and the syrups, and uh, you know, it sounds sounds great, don't you think? Yeah, Maxie would love it. Yes, yes. See, she would love that. Mm -hmm. But you'd hate it. You'd hate all of them. Well, Felicia, I am trying to find a job because I'm serious about staying here with my family. You're not a museum guard. You're not a librarian. You're not a pet shop owner. You are Frisco. Yeah. Yeah. And who is he? Hmm? He's coming back to me. I'm getting it now. I see him. I can see who he is. I guess your giraffe just learned how to talk. She has impeccable timing, doesn't she? Yes, well, that's all part of it. Why don't you check your father's league handbook under ingenuity? I'll be right back. Okay. I really see who I am now. <sighs> Coming, honey. Success. What was your story? Oh, Frisco Baird, fallen on the floor. Fallen or was dropped? Probably dropped. But she couldn't pick it up and retrieve it herself. No, not if she promised Daddy that she'd stay in bed. Mm, clever girl. It's in her genes. Well, she also said that Georgie needed covering up. No, not that she would have noticed unless she were out of bed herself. Yes, like you said, clever girl. Mm. So how did you get it back then? Well, a little more animal talk. And I told her the story about when I was in Kenya. And I was in a Serengeti plane, and I was in my sleeping bag. And I was looking up, and I saw the biggest, most beautiful stars in the most beautiful sky I'd ever seen. I told her that stars are very important because it kind of, you know, puts us all on the same planet. and It connects us. And she loved hearing the names of the stars, Orion, Ursa Majors, Pleiades. And I told her that she should probably close her eyes and dream about those stars. So she did. With the promise that we'd paint stars on the ceiling of her room tomorrow. Here it was. The bribe. I knew it. Well, I knew it. it'll be fun. Besides, she's asleep. You're a genius. Well, I still think that Daddy being home is a bit of a novelty. No kidding, for all of us. But it's a wonderful novelty. Well, that's reassuring. Weren't we in the middle of something? Come here, and I'll remind you exactly what. It may have been a long time, but it comes right back, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like riding a bike. Yeah. It's not quite as much fun, huh? You brute. No, stop it. I love when you talk to me like that. <laughs> Felicia, I mean, seriously, come on. I mean, where did all that come from, huh? Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo -hoo. 
<laughs> me remembering what I've been missing and reminding you of what you will be missing. Honey, I'm not missing nothing because I'm not going anywhere. Mm hmm. Why are you having such a hard time believing me? Why do you have such a hard time understanding why I have such a hard time believing you? You're the mother of my children. Yes. And I love you. And no, I don't believe you. Do you think that I'm lying to you? No, I don't think you're lying. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here with you right now. I don't think you believe that you're going to try to stay, but actually staying and talking about it, two different things. I know that. I know. I know. Just enjoying your face when you're talking about the African sky. It's exotic. It's a faraway place. Don't you think sleeping out on the Serengeti plane is going to start whispering in your ear pretty soon? I'd much rather have you whispering in my ear. And I have never slept anywhere that I felt more comfortable and more wonderful than right here. Are you trying to drive me nuts? Because if you are, you're definitely succeeding. Now, what do I have to do to convince you and make you believe me. Listen, let me give you some advice. Just stop trying to make me believe you. Let's just enjoy what we have right here, right now. Okay, okay. All right. If you insist. I do. I do. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You are still so nervous about the silence. I wasn't thinking anything. I was just smelling you and enjoying you and oh, looking at the Oh, baloney. You're and... sitting here counting the seconds until I leave. Oh, I see. Does the Father's League now have a course in mind reading? Well, it doesn't take a genius. You don't trust me. I do trust you. I trust you to be yourself. That's what I love about you. You're challenging me, aren't you? It's exactly what you're doing. You're challenging me, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm taking your challenge, and I'm going to prove you wrong, and I'm staying. <laughs> okay. I am. I'm going to talk to Maxie tomorrow morning. I'm going to explain everything to her exactly the way I feel, and she's going to believe me. Yes, she will believe you, so don't tell her. She keeps asking me if I'm going to stick around. If you're here, she'll know that you're here. If you're not here, she'll know that you're not here. Why can't I give my daughter a little reassurance? And what if you can't deliver on your promise? What kind of reassurance would that be then? Mm -hmm. uh. Well, we'll need more fruit. And we're out of cereal. Chocolate-covered sugar bars. Over my dead body. Oat bran and granola. I saw that. <laughs> With all those nuts and fruits and raisins. Yum, 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 yum. Do I have to wear a sweater? Yes, you do. Please try to do it on the playground again, okay? My yellow one. I promise I won't eat it. Please. Okay, go ahead and read it. Okay. I get to wear my yellow sweater to school. Oh, well, can life get any sweeter? When I get home from school, we can paint stars on my shoes. Well, perfect with me. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. I'll drop Maxie off, and then I'll go to the dentist, and then I'll do the shopping on the way home. So I guess you'll uh, see me when you see me. Okay, thank you, grandmother. There you go. Bye-bye, baby. Here. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Bye. Bye. So did you sleep well last night? Great. What happened last night, anyway? Excuse me, are you saying you don't remember what happened? Of course, I remember everything about last night. It's been a long time between drinks for this boy. I'm not likely to forget. Well, it was pretty special. In fact, speaking only for myself, of course, mm -hmm. last night confirmed something that I already knew, which is making love to you is the most heavenly, unpredictable experience I could have in the whole world. 
and it's even better now than it was before. Is that right? Yes. It's better now because I know I won't be afraid when it's all over. Afraid? Yes. Afraid. Afraid that it's going to be the last time. Or that I'll fall to pieces when you're not here to make love to me. Well, not that it isn't so much better when you are here. It's just that I think that I can handle things for myself. But I am here. I know, but that's the wonderful thing about it. Because I love you, you love me, and no matter what happens, everything is going to be just fine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Believe me, I'm trying. Well, let me explain it to you. Because... No, no, Felicia, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying. I, I just don't know why you're saying it. It's just everything is fine. Honey, I'm here. I'm here because I want to be here and I want to stay. Now, why do I feel like you're pushing me out of the door? I could be silly. I'm not pushing you anywhere. We have made it perfectly clear that you are very much a part of our lives and you will always be that. No matter what you say, this is still not sounding right to me. Think you're being overly sensitive. We want you to stay. If you truly want to. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Please don't make promises you don't intend to keep. I can handle it. But Maxie, she's just a little girl. And to her, a broken promise is a broken heart. And if you decide that you... Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it. I did decide. I want to be here. I, I want to be with you. I want to be with our daughters. I want to settle down. Okay. What do I have to do to convince you? Actually, I'm very good with pets. Some of my best friends are animals. And I mean that in the nicest way. Well, well, I've, I've, uh, I've been actually working with the government. Well, no, not the post office, but that's, that's definitely an option. Well, I'm afraid I can't be much more specific than that. You see, it was, um, it was secret work. No, no, they didn't fire me. I actually just got tired of the traveling, you know. And, uh, well, I, I spent time in, in Europe and in Asia and, uh, Africa, actually. Sri Lanka is a lot of laughs. <laughs> no, I don't think this is a joke at all. Well, yes, I'm aware that none of this qualifies me to manage a pet store, but, if, you know, a guy's got to make a living, right? I have a family to support. No, they don't travel with me. Actually, they're uh, residents of Port Charles. Mm-hmm. Well, they manage just fine without me, actually. And not that it's any of your business. Well, yes, absolutely, we could talk about attitude. Why don't we start with yours? Hello? Hello? The hours probably weren't very good. Yeah. Besides, the frosty freeze probably pays better. Just go, please. Felicia, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to do this. Hello? Well, hi, Rakeem. Come on in. Hi, Felicia. Hi. Hey, tea time's over, buddy. Just got a call from headquarters. What's up? Paris, tomorrow. There's a terrorist splinter group setting up shop. And we believe the target's an American aircraft, probably civilian. Is the SDC involved? SDEC? It's French intelligence. Not yet. Washington wants us to go in, get a clear picture, and then decide how best to use the SDEC. You know, your cards in Versailles. If anybody has dirt on this jackwood, they can probably get in touch with him now, too. What are you looking at me like that for? Like what, honey? I can't go with you. No problem. So you'll just meet me there. No, no. You don't understand. I'm, I'm hanging it up. I'm standing here with my family. <laughs> hey, this is Rakeem you're talking to. You're serious? Paul Washington. Have them assign Jim Warren to work with him. Warren's in Argentina. And the Paris Bureau specifically asked for you, Frisco. You're the best at this, man. This is right up your alley. Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll muddle through without me. I'll personally put you in touch with Chicago. Thanks a lot, pal. You know the guy hates my guts. Ever since that Moroccan fiasco, you know, he's still blaming me for that. Look, man, you do what you gotta do, I... I don't have time to argue. No, you don't. That group has got their target, they're gonna be moving fast. Can I use your phone? Am I guess? 
I gotta get a flight out of here. Frisco? What? I think you'd better go. I'll be at the hotel. When you decide what you want to do, you call and let me know. Hey, I know exactly what I'm doing. What, what's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on here is business as usual. They're requiring your highly specialized services. Now you better hop to it or you're going to miss your plane or your boat or your sub or whatever the WSB uses to transport their agents. These I'm days. not going to miss anything because this is where I want to be with my wife and my kids. Wife? Don't confuse me. I was going to take care of that right away. I love you. We'll take care of it. If we decide to do that. And the time is right. But it isn't now. Now let me help you pack. Stop this, will you? Damn it. Just, just stop it. Please. Did you or did you not hear me just tell Rakeem that I'm quitting? I heard you. And have you... Or have you not heard me tell you over the last few days that I want to stay here, that I'm, I'm making an effort to grow up and take responsibility? Yes, and I think it's very sweet. Now stop patronizing me. Now I told you that I want to stay and I meant it. I never doubted it. God, you know you are the most bullheaded, infuriating woman I've ever met on any continent. I've been on every one of them, you know. Now, now just hold on a minute. I'm not trying to make you matter. I don't want you to go away angry. I don't believe this. It was only one blood test. No, I got it now. It's all very clear to me. I'm supposed to walk out because you say so, but I should probably do it with a smile on my face, right? See? There it is in a nutshell. What? You walk out on an obligation. Frisco, I don't want to be an obligation. I don't want you to be obligated to me and the girls. When you choose, I want you to be with me and the girls. Let me ask you something. Do you feel obligated to our daughters? Of course I do. They're small, they're helpless, and they're dependent on me. Exactly. They should be dependent on both of us. There you go. It should. Well, th but that's the way I feel, Felicia. I mean, I thought it was a step forward. Tell me something. When Rakeem told you about the mission, did you feel like you should do it? No. But you wanted to, right? Big deal. Yes, it is a big deal. Stop kidding yourself. You still want to do it. Well, so what if I do? You and the girls are a bigger deal. Well, thank you. But you still want to go. Why do you keep telling me what I want? I'm not. When Rakeem came in, I saw the look on your face. What you saw. But I know what you heard. And that was no, which is exactly what I said to that assignment. And it's over, Felicia. Do you understand? Finito. Sayonara. So I tell you what I saw in your face? What? I saw you react to what you wanted to do. And then decide to what you ought to do. And that's bad. It would be for you. It would be for all of us. Please, can't you just admit it's what you want? I'm beginning to get the picture. Good. You do want me to stay, though, don't you? Well, of course I do. The girls and I would love nothing better than to have you here as a whole family. But not with regrets and not with lingering doubts. And you believe me when I tell you that I'm... I'm getting tired of my life the way it is now. Yeah. I think it's a sign that maybe you want to hang it up sooner rather than later. But can you honestly look me dead in the eye and say that it's now? Frisco?
more careful to me, all right? Now, you know how it is sometimes that how Daddy has to go away? Uh-huh. You're working. And it's too far to drive from. The way Uncle Tony can from the hospital. Right. Exactly. But just like Uncle Tony, Daddy has to go sometimes and do things real fast. You know, all of a sudden, like an emergency. You mean like the way I got my new heart? Well, not exactly, but, but sort of. And that's what happened. That's what Daddy has to do right now. Today? I'm afraid so, honey. But I had a great time visiting. And I, I, I can't believe how... how grown up you are. And I'm so happy to see your heart is working so well. And it was great to meet your new sister. I hope she'll come back pretty soon. Oh, I will. Maybe sooner than you think, too. Because maybe Daddy's work's gonna finish before you know it. Nah, I'll be able to stay. I'll be able to stay a good long time. I hope so. When you're here, it makes me feel happy. Me too. No, that's okay. Something's come up. <laughs> Let me guess. You're off on a great adventure, and Felicia's just doing great about it, isn't she? I know how it looks. No, it looks the way it is. And you're entitled to your own opinion. That's fine. But Felicia and I have talked this out, and she understands. That's because she's so deaf, dumb, and blind in love with you. And you're more blind than she is. You don't even realize, or do you realize, that today is the anniversary of BJ's death and Maxie's new life. And at the moment, it's just a little bit hard for me to understand how a man could get up and walk away from a little girl like that. It's hard for me to understand how you don't realize what a precious and incredible gift that you have. No, you're wrong, because I do. I know exactly how special my family is. Except you're just a little bit more special, because anybody can sire a couple of kids, but you've got to root out the bad guys. I know better. It's your life. Only part of it. I know where my life is. It's right here. And I'm telling you I'm coming back to it. I'm sure you will. You'll pass through from time to time. I'm coming back to stay. Pardon me if I don't hold my breath. Do me a favor while I'm gone, okay? I'll do lots of them, just not for you. Let it go a little. Felicia and my daughters are not your responsibility. They better be somebody's. And somebody better take care of his own responsibility. Because when I come back, I don't want to clean up your mess as well as my own. Well, I really love that. You're going to be responsible for me? I'll take care of myself. You take care of the planet. Well, how should I want to get back? Like I said, you won't hold your breath. I'll see you. Yep. You are a piece of work, brother. You are some piece of work.
I'm sorry we have to move so fast. That's the way it goes. Thank you for coming to my tea party. The pleasure was mine. I enjoyed the company. And may I say, your cookies are exceptional. Thank you. Coming from someone with international tastes, that's very nice. Good luck on your emergency. I'll keep those words close to my heart. Hi, right, honey. Frisco Jones, you are a very fortunate man. You have a fine family. Yeah, I'm aware of that. More aware than you know. Or anyone else. Thank you for Sir Ralph, Daddy. I've got a present for you, too. Bimba? So you and my king can practice playing nice. Well, that's... Honey, that's awfully nice. Go ahead. We can always get another bimba. The world is full of them. You know what I think? I think you've been studying unselfishness with your mom. And I promise with all my heart that I'll take care of Bimba, okay? And I promise also that when we come back, Akeem and I, we're gonna play bridal penthouse. Very, very nice. I'll be back home soon.